how's it going youtube take care so ios 26 is finally out now and well this is not a small update it's 15 gigs for the developer beta one so this is the very first time i think i'm seeing a developer beta this big well anyways this is their new naming convention for the ios majorly for every os it's 26 now not 19 anymore before let me show you this is the kind of new welcome screen you get on all the devices not just ios so this is like a welcome it's liquid glass animation which i couldn't show you in the video but this is how it looks like in every other language so anyways i'm planning to cover apple intelligence features in a separate video so as always let's start with the lock screen so here is the new wallpaper this is how it looks like when it's dimmed and on the aod well anyways when you first go to the lock screen you will be greeted with three liquid glass icons which are embedded in the time itself and your shortcut toggles on both the side so they actually react it's not just a thing it's a live glass it possesses all the optical illusions and qualities of a real glass so as you can see how it reacts and changes in the background depending on what background you have well there are certain new things on the lock screen so let's cover that up really quick so like when you go to the edit mode you go to the customize for any screen let's say so you now have a way to you know increase the size of this time here but i don't know who asked this because i don't really think i need to use this but this thing is quite adaptive because it can change the size according to the wallpaper the kind of wallpaper you apply so well you do have this option now to just increase the size or maybe the length i could say so that's it but i'm gonna use this only so for now let's just go back and now here is a new thing called special photos so what this means is this gives your photos a 3d look that you can change anytime and even you can keep it as a wallpaper on the lock screen by the way this does not work on the home screen so let me show you how this works and how to get it all right so here is a photo and here you will see a small icon which is for the special photos so these photos the special only works on the photos that you click from your camera it does not work for downloaded photos or anything like that so once you click the special icon over here it will just give this 3d kind of look which you can also set as a wallpaper so this is something new in ios 26 well that's that but when you unlock your phone with ios 26 for the very first time you will notice a new unlock animation but we only had animations before but now you also have a lock animation so the same way how the apps appear on your home screen when you first unlock it the same way it will disappear when you just turn off your phone's display just like this so this is something new to ios 26 i don't think i've seen this before in any ios by the way this does not work on every iphone it does not work on my 11 pro max it does on my 15 pro pretty sure it should work on 13 pro also i think so that's something new so once you're in the home screen you will notice new icons which are completely replaced and designed with liquid glass technology they use so these are some of the icons which are kind of 3d because they have layering and they are not just a 2d icons anymore so i think as you can see maybe it's not that easy to see but it's quite 3d but also let me mention you something if you have a special wallpaper on your screen the glass properties will react to the movement the angle of movement it's quite hard to see on the screen right now for this time but you can see the edges on all the apps will change if you have this wallpaper but if you don't have a special wallpaper it won't work it will be stationary well anyways with this new set of icons with liquid glass you can also have a different kind of if you go to customize we had this default in the dark mode also the dark modes icon do have the special new you know this liquid glass icon but now you also have a clear for the glass itself so let's like it does not have any color it possesses the qualities of a glass it's see-through it will react to the way you will swipe and stuff like that so you also have this clear mode for all of these icons but this is not just all if you go to click and click tint well now it looks quite better i would say with this liquid glass icons so this is something for the home screen 
I just put it back. But also I forgot to mention, if you go to settings and you go to the display and brightness and then go to the always on display, you will also see a new option to blur your wallpapers. So what is on the screen can now be blurred. We did not have this option before. So when you toggle it on, you can see, wait, it does not work. There's a bug, I think. So the actual wallpaper will just be blurred. Okay, now it works. So this is a new setting for the AOD we got with iOS 26. Okay, now as we are on the home screen, if you think there's no update to the existing control center, all there is is a replacement of the icons with delivered glass interface everywhere on the device. I mean, their entire device is not just iPhone. So it's nothing new. The only thing is that they have this look at glass interface built into their control center. So there's nothing new there. And yep, of course, as always, it possesses all the qualities of a real glass. Well, let me show you something as we are already on the home screen. So if you just go back, so you will see that these are not just plain flat slab of glasses. These glasses are quite, you know, curved by the edge. So as you can see from here, the way it magnifies or even the properties of being a translucent glass at the edge and anyone reversing the actual image behind that glass itself. So Apple really just worked quite well on showing the real properties of a glass as a software. So I do appreciate the hard work. Well, with the new liquid glass interface, the camera app has got quite a huge redesign since decades now. So this is how it's gonna look like. So what Apple says is, Mostly users have photos and videos using most of the time So this is something which is gonna look like when you first open the camera app only two of these options But if you want to get to other options like cinematic action mode and other time-lapse stuff You can simply just scroll which of course you get the new Scroll liquid glass UI here too. So this is how you can get to other options but these two are the only options which are going to show but you might wonder where are other options like the timer and flashlight. So if you scroll up from here, you can reveal all of them here. Again, with the liquid glass properties, you can find all of them here. And if you want to change the aspect ratio and the quality, you can simply click. You can find all these options here. This is how it's gonna look like. And it's also here, if you don't understand how to get it, you can simply click the six dots at the top right corner beside the flashlight. And this interface for the system camera settings will open. If you go and record a video, here's a new button for the record option, which also has the glass-like properties. So this is a completely redesigned camera interface that we have seen in decades. So this is also it. So let me show you how this liquid glass is different from the previous one. So this is the kind of bar we used to have that like takes up your this amount of screen entirely. But all these options including the Safari and every other thing are now floating like a tab like we got in the I think iPad OS 18 or something. So you can see these are not just a glass. It reacts to how fast you scroll through these options. So it will react like that, hence the name liquid glass. Well, anyways, this is inbuilt everywhere. So even if you go to Safari, you will see it's floating. It's not just covering your entire display at this area. It's just floating and it's going to give you more space to, you know, maybe view stuff. Maybe that's why Apple added it. And only that's pretty much it about the liquid glass home screen and the lock screen. But let me just show you before going into any application specifically. If you take a screenshot, there's a new screenshot interface with this new, you know, this animation. And then this is how it's gonna look like. If you take another screenshot, it will become a page like this. So let's just try to do that. So you can edit separate pages, I think. I can't access it for some reason. All right, so here it is. So this is how it's gonna look like. But there's a new feature you can see already on the screen. It says image search and ask. So if you take a screenshot or whatever is on your screen while you take that screenshot, you can click either of those to 
you know get information on the screen like set a timer or maybe you know add event to a calendar or just get information about what's on the screen using the visual intelligence so this is a kind of update to the visual intelligence which i plan to show you in a separate ai video for this ios today 6 so let's leave it at that and as you can see the entire ui is now separated from the screen they have their own area they have this liquid glass properties and that's it so even if you just go in 3d touch a new pop-up will appear it's not the same as before so another look at glass with a frosted glass kind of background which adapts to its any kind of background it possesses so that's pretty much it on the home screen okay so let me tell you something new about the iMessage well, well it is not particularly new to the iMessage other messenger apps already had this feature decades ago so if you go to the iMessage and if you tap plus you will find a new option to add a poll so whatsapp had this feature you know since probably many years now so basically you can add a poll in an, any iMessage group that's something you can find this option over here i don't see it right now i don't know if it's a bug it doesn't seem to be appearing for me but you can find that option here and also with this as you can see th this is a black background so you can now finally set a photo or any other background in the iMessage group or a dm instead of having just this black background well whatsapp and instagram kind of messenger apps had this since decades now finally with ios 26 we get this on the iphone well that is something and as you can see the keyboard also looks quite different it has that glass kind of edges the round boxes well that's it and there's something new so let me show you if you go to a settings in any chat or group chat in imessage you will see this automatically translate button which is off by default so when you turn on this toggle you will find that there are some of the languages that it can translate to from these available languages for now so let's say if a person sends you a message in other language it will directly translate it to your language so that you will be able to read it and vice versa that same thing will happen to for that person also so this is something new that they added to the iMessage and I think it only works for iMessage for now I'm not sure but this also gets in FaceTime so let's say you are in a FaceTime call someone speaks in a different language than yours you will see a transcription right on the screen which will translate it to your language and same thing the other person from the other side on the FaceTime will see that too so there are some major new features in the call itself so it's like two of them one is something called call distraction so when someone calls you iphone answers it for you without you having to pick it up so when the caller mentions his name and the purpose for the call only then if the phone thinks that it's relevant to you then it will start ringing and before it rings you will be able to see all the conversation as a transcription on the screen so that is something i think it's called hold assist which I think Google Pixels had for a long time but now we get that on the iPhone with iOS 26. Also there are some new features in the maps. So let's say if you go to some place regularly, maps is going to learn that route you take every day and once it knows that, it will also show you stuff like the traffic and other stuff if there are any even before you head out. So it basically means it will adapt to your route from where you go but if you do plan to change the route you know what it will again start adapting like all right so this is the new route the person takes so it will remember that but that's not it you can now also add your favorite places directly on the map so you can also share with it others itself so that they know where you go so if you are at that location it can even you know give you a notification that you are at this place this is your favorite destination is so that's something about minor we got in the maps all right so we also have some features in music which are quite good i won't say useful but they are good to have as an option so if you remember we got crossfade and music haptics in ios 18 but now those features are enhanced so first of all let me show you if you go to settings and i think it's in the accessibilities you scroll down go to music haptic if it's enabled 
you will have different ways different intensities of using the haptic so you can either go for light or go for strong so if you click either one of them it will give you example haptic of how it might feel so it can also be you know divided by vocals or the entire song so if you use full mix it will match the rhythm the beat and the energy of the entire song but if you have vocals enabled then it will give you only for vocals like the melodies humming and chores and all so this is how the haptic has got some new customizations with ios 26 but there's something new so if you go to the settings and you go to music scroll down you will see this song transition so you remember crossfade how it works what we got in ios 18 so there's a new option called auto mix so when you first open the music app this is what it's gonna show like for the first time it's a pop-up for auto mix is on and it will tell you what it does so this works like a personal dj to you whenever there's a beat it will change the song on that beat matching it with some other song so you do get a personal dj in your pocket and this is how the auto mix works but I think you need to be on shuffle for your entire library or you have to be on a playlist. I could not get it to work for some reason. I tried it a lot. So I haven't got a demo of it yet, but it is there. And of course it works only in the Apple Music. You need to have the Apple Music subscription for this. By the way, you can also now pin music on top on your library home screen in the music app. But unfortunately it's gonna be only six of these. You can't do it more than that. Well, quite last but not least, we have new apps with iOS 26, which is called Games and Preview. So if you actually open Preview, it will give you like a file kind of interface where you can see your recent files, shared files with others, or your entire drive itself, maybe it be iPhone or iCloud. I don't understand the use of it yet because this looks and quite works exactly same as the existing files app over here. So I don't know why Apple even just decided to give. Maybe it's useful on Mac. But other than this, there's this games app which actually has all of your games and your friends if you are connected with them through App Store and other games. So this is like a new game center in the iOS 26. It will show you which of your friend is playing what game, how you can compete. And I think it has a new feature that it also converts even a normal game into a competitive game. It shows their score in real time, which maybe you would try to break to just to prove you're better at that game, whatever. So this is something new in the games, a new game center app. Well, what I would say about the iOS 26 is that it gave iPhone a completely new feel which is not entirely new because we have seen this kind of glass interface in the 2009's Windows Vista. I don't know if it's a complete copy or not, but the hard work they put with the glass-like real properties in the Apple softwares. So it actually gives your iPhone an entirely new look because for me, it even felt like a new phone with this new app icons and the entire interface for some time, but that's it. Talking about useful features, I think the call assist and the hold assist feature, something like that, and the live translation from languages in iMessage and FaceTime is, I think it's quite helpful for many people. That's it. But there are some fun features like the auto mix and stuff like that, and some UI improvements and stuff like that, you know. But this app, I don't think so. This iOS feels much bigger like the iOS 13 or maybe iOS 18 was. It's not that big of an upgrade other than the liquid glass, I think. So that's pretty much it.